Hi guys, usually I'm behind the scenes on these videos for the Go channel, Road to One Dav. Uh, today I've played Andy in person, decent game, you can check out the video, I'm thinking of speeding it up because it's quite a long one. I'm going to talk through how to score, um, and this is as the game was when we just finished it. What we've done is we've filled in the Darmes, which are the areas in between each other's territory, such as this one, so it's nobody's point. We just fill it in so it doesn't confuse the scoring. Um, and then we both pass and that's the end of the game. So these are the stones that I've killed of Andy's. These are the stones Andy's killed of mine. Now there's also stones on the board which are dead. So stones in Andy's territory of mine give him extra points. And stones in my territory of Andy's give me extra points. So we take those off. Right, once you're done with all that, in the theory of scoring says you get points for the uh, area inside your territory and points for the stones that you've killed of your opponents. So basically, if I was to do it uh, a very basic way, I would add up these, count them up, count up these. If there's a Komi, which is like 0.5 if you have a handicap so that you can't draw, then we add that on and that's the end. Because we're cleverer than that, we think, well, stones that Andy's score, uh, killed and mine, are points for Andy, which is the same as taking them away from me. So Andy would put these to take away points in my territory. And I'm going to put these to take away points in Andy's territory. We missed two dead stones here of white, so I'll just put these in my own area. So you might be thinking this will give you a lower score, but the difference between the scores will still be the same. Which is the most important thing. So at this point you see if you've got a high scoring or a low scoring game. Okay, now again, if we were very doing it a very basic way, we would, could use our fingers and count again. But we're good at maths and we know that if we make rectangles, then we can just multiply and count them up quicker. So at this point, you want to make shapes in the area that you want to add up to make it easy to count. So for black, I've made this rectangle, so 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, so that's 20. Takeaway 2 is 18 points. For white, you do something similar. So fill in all the dodgy shapes. Now when I first start playing it would really confuse me when these whites were taken. However, we know, it's, say, yeah, say. we know it's white's territory, so as long as you remember whose it is, it doesn't matter. If you want to be uh, over the top about it, what you can do is you can change the colour of it. So you keep going until you get to a point where it's uh, easy to add up. Okay, well, that's, 19 by 19 that's grid, one way. Yeah. So <laughs> 19 by uh, yeah, 19 times 2 is 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 3 by 4 is 12, so I want to say 42 on 12, 54, plus 0.5 Comey, 54.5 to 18. So it was a decent game, um, thanks for the game, and you could kind of see before we added up that I had a slightly more territory and I killed quite a lot of Andy stones. Um, so just bear that in mind when you're playing. Where's your territory? Where's your points coming from? How many stones have you killed? And you can think about if you're ahead or behind at that point. Thanks for watching. See you soon.